Oh no, what do you mean do? I am knackered. Edith has just woken me up with her noises. She wants to go out for a wee wee. There's the morning bells. And there's Eden. You wanna go out? <laughs> Coming in. Let's go outside. A little wild thing. <laughs> Watch you run. Whoa! Look at you go! Some crazy thing. I won't subject you to any more torture. And there she goes. This is what the day is looking like. Nice wee. You can't be done already, surely? Don't you want more time outside? It's looking a little bit better out this side. Let's put that dressing gown on, make some breakfast. On Saturday's weekend vlog, we showed Story's first flight back to the UK as a two-year-old with mummy. So today's video is going to be short and sweet. I'm going to film it all on my phone and we're going to do a little update on what Story and mummy have been up to for Nanny Sue's birthday, which was the reason why they went back to England. Let me put some nice morning music on. Indie Folk Central. Discover the best. One thing I've noticed about being on my own without Sasha is that in the past I used to neglect myself. This time I've really been looking after myself food wise. I've been eating a ton more, making lots of really good juices, experimenting so that we can make more smoothies for the recipe book. I haven't drunk any coffee. It's weird. I didn't think I would do that. Let's see how it feels out there. It's now nearing the end of November. Oh, there's some rain out there. But it feels quite warm. 16 degrees inside the house, about 21 degrees outside. Okay, so I'm sure you're fed up of looking at my tired morning face. So let's have a look at what Sasha's been up to on her little trip back to the UK. We've just arrived at the hotel where we're having my mum's surprise birthday afternoon tea. And we're going in to set up and get ready to surprise her. My mum doesn't know that Story and I are here, so it's going to be a nice surprise. Story spotting all the planes. planes. <laughs> we're just waiting for my mum to get here now. Story and Auntie Nick are checking out the fountain. Mummy, what, what have you got? Oh, a petal. Beautiful. Baby, a petal. This is the grounds of where we are. It's really beautiful. And there's a little playground there for Story. She's desperate to get in, so we're going to give her a quick swing before Nanny gets here. Hold on. Swing. Good. Nanny's coming. <laughs> Go see Nanny and Uncle Paul. Ready? Go. <laughs> Mummy. So you're supposed to be in Portugal. What do you reckon, Mum? Surprise! Get back! Surprise! It's amazing! <laughs> That's what the story says. Yeah. I'm going to skip on my birthday. <laughs> Afternoon tea's arrived. Mm. Look at that. Yeah, oh, it looks really lovely. We start the book and work up. Yeah. yeah. Morning everybody. My phone died before I could film some more stuff of Nanny's birthday surprise yesterday but we had a lovely day and Nanny was really surprised. There was lots of tears and I just wanted to show you Story this morning and what she's doing. She's just had her breakfast of almond butter toast and berries and now she's watching a movie in the movie room. <laughs> a new one, ballerina this is called. Morning Story. Can you say hello? So you can see from the video that Nanny Sue's birthday surprise was a success. She had no clue what was going on. We were worried that she was going to work it out and Sasha had to do a couple of like fake Skype calls to make her not suspicious because they talk to each other almost daily. Story got to see Sue on her birthday and she was really, really happy. And I'm really glad that Sasha made it back for this event. You only turn 60 once, it's a big number. 
and she wanted to make sure she was there and Story got to spend time with Nanny and the family as well, so that's really nice. Okay, I think that's ready. Cousin Ethan and Scarlett have just gone off to school and I think me and my sister, Auntie Nick, are gonna go out and have a coffee this morning and take Story to the park. And then there are more birthday surprises coming in a day or two, so I'll film when that happens as well, but it's all very exciting. <laughs> The story's at the park with Grandad. We just had a quick coffee and a quick catch up with Grandad. Wow. Yeah. Aww. Wow. Well, on the as well. <laughs> <laughs> What's that story? Cat. A cat. He's lovely, isn't he? Jump. He jumped, yeah. Go, go. Say bye bye, cat. Bye bye, cat. <laughs> See you soon. Let's go. I love a cat. <laughs> this is a pretty story. It's a big koi carp pond. It looks beautiful. Look, like we found the fish story. Yay. Oh, there's a big one. Hold my hand. Look fish. It's a big one. Alright, back at my sister's, and they're just coming outside to have some more play. And the cats are here. There's Rosie. Hi, Rosie Cat. Well, tell me. You want to go stroke her? Daddy. Yeah. Wee, back in the swing. I'm back in the swing. <laughs> oh, and I'm missing. You giving Oscar a treat? Oh, eating it. <laughs> He's eating it, yeah. <laughs> eating it. He is. There's Big Abby behind you. <laughs> eating it. <laughs> <laughs> you say Oscar, Bubby. Eating it. When the afternoon tea was over, Nanny Sue actually thought that Sasha went back home, but instead what they did was booked a holiday home and surprised her again. So Sasha went to Lowestoft with the family and they had a nice time away. It has been a super duper hectic day today, but basically I just wanted to show you where we are and what's happening. It was a surprise weekend away for my mum's 60th birthday. We are in a town called Lowestoft in Suffolk. This is mine and Story's room. We've got a beautiful mural of birds on the wall here. We basically just got to the house. My mum's just arrived. We've surprised her. I didn't know where my phone was because it got put down with loads of luggage. So I've only just found it. So I'm gonna do a little quick walk around the house and show you where we are. And then tomorrow, <laughs> we'll take you to the beach. So this is where Story and I are sleeping tonight in this lovely little sparkly pillow bed. And then there's another massive room here and that double window there looks out over to the sea in the morning but it is actually night time now so you can't see anything a beautiful four poster bed here more stairs another beautiful bedroom there massive window and then this is the living room of the house it's got an open fire it's really beautifully decorated there's a telescope over there how cool is that and there's all these lovely big windows up again and then there's a big bathroom and that is it that concludes the little Suffolk house tour really nice we are just gonna enjoy the weekend away together as a family so morning everybody morning everybody we're at the beach I brought Story out to the beach at Lowestoft and this is where we are. There's the pier right there and right on the beach, right on the sea. This is what it looks like the other way. What do you think Story? Plane! Oh a plane? Wow! <laughs> We're staying in one of the houses just over there. So it's just a short walk across the road to the sand, which is nice. Hi. Yeah, we can hold hands. Come on then, let's go. We're all just kind of doing our own things this morning. So I've brought Story out for a little walk on the beach. It's almost her nap time, but she was desperate to get outside. So we've come for a little morning walk, which is lovely. You listen to the seagulls? Are they noisy? big one isn't it? One. That's the daddy one yeah? We're picking the pebble to take back home to daddy aren't we? Mummy one. Oh that's the mummy one, thank you. Daddy one. And now get one for story. Daddy. Is 
is nice. I'm sitting here with a coffee on the beach with my little baby. It's very enjoyable. It's a lovely sunny day today as well. It's quite windy, so there's a little bit of wind chill, but it is nice. It's a nice crisp morning. Star is now using my empty coffee cup to fill with pebbles. <laughs> I'm going to take Story back to the house now. It is getting near to nap time. So I'm going to attempt to put her down <laughs> and I'll check back in again later. It has been a beach day today and I've got Story back out here. Cousins Darcy and Scarlett. Penny the dog, we're all down on the beach. So it's gotten really windy and cold now, so we're heading back in. <laughs> Look how I'm so windswept. <laughs> Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Good girl. Over here in central Portugal, nothing much has been happening, to be honest. I've been working on our jewellery store, trying to get Etsy ready for the Christmas period, putting new merchandise up, editing these vlogs, and I created this really decadent juice, which is going to go into the recipe book. I call it the Black Forest Gatto smoothie. Look at that. It's like chocolate. <laughs> so much goodies in there. There's loads of black forest berries. What's great about this smoothie is it looks really unhealthy, but it's not. It's packed full of fruits and it's got loads of seeds and nuts in it as well. And it's really tasty. It's one of those drinks that you can have in the morning or you could even have as a dessert. And it's that decadent. Are you looking forward to seeing Popwa? <laughs> Yeah, she's going to be coming back with story, isn't she? I've booked us a lovely looking holiday home in Serra da Arábida, in the Stubal region. And loads of people have told us how good it is. Honestly, I don't think the weather is going to be very good, but I think the location itself is going to be excellent for us to explore. So in a couple of days, me and this lazy dog are going to drive down to Lisbon. We're going to pick up Story and Popwa and we're going to go to the house, aren't we? Spend five days there. Also, I wanted to do a little bit of an update on the new Saudad necklace that we released on Monday last week. A bit of confusion there. We said there was only eight made and there was. There was eight 20 millimeter ones and eight 24 millimeter ones. So there's actually 16 in total. But I'm pleased to say that everybody loves them. Within five days, 10 of them had sold straight away. One more 20 mil sold on the weekend, I think. And I think there's five left. So if you're interested in getting one, don't forget to check out our Etsy store before they're all gone because we're not gonna make any more of those. And if any of you are keen to see how Story did on the plane <laughs> for her journey back to the UK, you can watch the weekend vlog by becoming an eight Myla, clicking the link up here. And those are all the updates from me. And the next video should be when I'm back with my mum and with Sash and with Story. We'll have a new vlog camera, which is coming back from England. We're off down to Serra de Jarabida for a little adventure. We can start showing Portugal, even though it's a bit miserable here in November. It's still going to be fun to explore some new places. Can you say bye, Eden? Bye! Uh, actually, can I just say, I've really enjoyed being alone with my dad. We've had some wonderful times together. Mm -hmm. We have, haven't we, Eden? Yeah, you've had all the attention, all the love, haven't you? Unfortunately, we didn't get to go to the Basako Forest in the end, but we've had a lot of garden time together, and I'm going to end today's video with a view outside of the rain. <laughs> Bye. What do you think? It's a big plane, isn't it? You've got no now, Stovey. He's laying, yeah, he is.